Reducing redundant elements within our data visualization or otherwise known as decluttering is such an important aspect that we dedicate an entire lesson to it within our workshops. But we close out that very same lesson with an important truth that we shouldn't only declutter. Simply decluttering and then sending our information to our audience will still likely have them walking away confused. So let's take a look at this today and first of all, improve our visualization by decluttering it and then strengthen it by prioritizing the main message that we're looking to share. This visual shows the status of work orders across four critical asset types within an engineering company. Along the horizontal axis, we see each of the four asset types and the primary left vertical axis plots the absolute number of orders within an asset type. And those are broken down by closed, the blue bars, and open the orange bars. Finally, the secondary vertical axis tracks the percentage of orders closed per asset type. The goal of this view is for our audience to better understand which of the individual asset areas are more successful in closing their orders and which might require a little bit of attention. Now, everything that our audience might need is present in this view, but that's part of the problem. What are we meant to be focusing on here? Maybe it's the absolute number of orders and those that have been closed. Or maybe it's the proportion. Or indeed, it could be both. We can begin to improve the visual with some common decluttering techniques like adjusting the graph proportions, decreasing the white space between the bars, tidying up formatting of the axes, removing the data labels, resizing and aligning the chart title, and finally, moving the legend to the top as a subtitle. The combination of these changes makes it easier to focus on the data. But even with these changes, it's still difficult to make any immediate observations with the data. And so it's at this point we take a step back and think critically about the main message we're looking to share and then whether or not the graph choices we've made help support that message and allow it to be communicated effectively. One way we can transition away from the combined axes is to pull the graphs apart vertically, leveraging the same horizontal axis across both views, but now with each getting its own independent vertical axis. Having made this change, I've noticed something off. Lines work well for continuous data over time, but here we're dealing with categorical data, those asset types. In this instance, joining the closure rates with each asset creates a relationship that just doesn't exist. To correct this, I'll convert the line to individual bars, which will better represent this discrete, distinct data. That's better, but something still feels a little bit off. Maybe we're just trying to show too much information at once. Do we need to present all of this data in one go? Often a subset or aggregation of the data can lead to a much clearer final product. And so I'm going to continue to iterate. Firstly, I'll drop the closure rate information. Then I'm gonna switch from positioning the closed and open bars from their original position next to each other to stacking them on top of one another. Now that the order closure rate has been removed, we can be clear about the intention of this visual and displaying only the relevant data reduces the cognitive effort required to understand the information. But in conversation with colleagues, we determine that one thing our audience cares about above all else is the closure rate within each individual asset type. And with that original visual and the closure rate priority in mind, I'm inclined to explore one final view. And that's switching to 100% stack bar chart, now clearly showing the proportion of orders that have closed. At this stage, I've also taken the opportunity to switch to a horizontal orientation to ensure the category labels sit nicely on one single line. Finally, I chose to order the data series in a decreasing order of performance. This final view allows for immediate and accurate comparisons to be made. And now that I've landed upon an appropriate chart type, the final step is to add elements that help frame and explain the data. A goal line of 80%, an observational takeaway to prime our audience with the key message behind the visual, and an open question to help aid and prompt discussion. Unlike the original, the story now is obvious. It's just those boiler feed water pump order closure rates that are at an acceptable level while all of the others fall below. Now attention can turn to remedial conversations on how we can expedite order closure rates in those other asset types. Decluttering our visuals is always a great first step, but for the strongest communications, real success comes from not only just sharpening those original designs, but then thinking critically about the message we're looking to share and whether or not the graph types we've selected help support that message. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this latest data transformation video. For more on this theme, check out our Makeovers playlist. And until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.